This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. I flooded the roads myself to strand you here in a fight for your life. Only one of you will survive. And then we'll discover who the true killer is. <laughs> Just kidding, it's me. It's, it's definitely me. Okay, first question. Go on. Say something nice about a Nehru jacket. I dare you. Use your device to answer the question. I'm talking to you too, audience. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, it's time. Welcome to room 113. Heads! You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. Hmm, someone needs to pick which slots are death zones. Go ahead, everyone else. Choose a slot to make it no bueno. Okay! Let the games begin! Pick a spot to drop from! Ever heard of Chaos Theory? Well, this is Chaos Fact! They don't call Death Zones for nothing! going anywhere. The end of your life isn't the end of your participation. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Oh, also, there's an audience in the game. If they survive, you die. If you're not ready now, you can join the audience whenever. It's like super low pressure. Let's keep moving. I always forget the name for this whenever I'm talking to my stylist. What style would create a beautiful hair crown that goes all the way around my head? Who picked? This. One of you is still alive. Come with me. Welcome to room 227. I hope you like gifts. I've tried to white elephant this stuff, but it always finds its way back to me. Pick up. Uh. Ah, my Grandpappy Jack's glasses. They say they let him see things no mortal mind can comprehend. He succumbed to supernatural madness. So let us know if you start seeing weird stuff. Moving on. Let's try another one. How do you say good day in Swedish? Oh. 
charitable. You all get $500. Give some of that money to another player. The person who ends up with the most money will die. But if you give to someone and they have $1,000 or more, I will kill you instead. Begin. Truck that cash. Well, that's a lot of money. Too much, really. So you're safe. But that's a bad mistake for any investors. Player is left alive. We'll go to the final round. Next question. How do you, Dougie? Asking for a friend. Who picked this? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Time for consequences. It's the classic game, Chalices. I've given each safe player a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. It's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. Hot tip. Delish. Now let's see what everyone drank. This is why I love this game. Sometimes people get poisoned. Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive, but will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. Songs from Greece 2. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. You're on your way to escaping! Oh wait, did you think it was going to be just you? Aww, that's cute! If a ghost catches you, they'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And they get a third chance to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Galaxies. Too easy on you. Mascots older than Ronald McDonald. I 
I don't know if you can outrun those ghosts. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. It's only darkness. People alive during the year 1900. Time is almost up. Darkness mining my entire audience. Endocrine glands. Too slow. Gotta go. High in protein. A knife can't save you from ghosts. Blue Pulse Drag Race. Time is almost up. Mm, you stole some yummy life force. Lines from Liam Neeson's speech and taken. James Bond villains. Ward around the neck. Stop. Lights out for you. Uh uh uh, not so fast. You need a perfect answer for your final escape. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. There's not much time. I'm Dr. Caralda, a licensed physician of the mystical arts. You seem to have been infected by a supernatural madness. Not to be confused with a real mental illness, which is a serious issue that I have no formal training in. Quickly, you need to answer this question correctly or forever be tormented by spooky apparitions. Who played Indiana Jones? Kind of a softball, honestly, but important nonetheless. Oh. It all comes down to this. You did it! You're free of the evil! If anyone asks, I was never here. By law, I'm not allowed to set foot in a hospital anymore. 